so I'm taking some of this stuff that I got with me. I got some new earrings. I love ordering from her company, Black Owned, and also I just feel like her jewelry lasts really good. A lot of her jewelry is plated, gold plated. Super cute. Really cute packaging, so these are coming with me. I have to get a jacket. I'm really hoping that this jacket is gonna be <laughs> warm enough for me. Cute brown dress, like a velvet dress, and a cute bomber jacket. Yeah, I'm hoping this is gonna be warm enough. You guys will see me with this on um, out there. Yeah, and we got a cute little brown chocolate dress. If I can find pictures, I'll post this for you guys. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I like to do my nails at home. Look at my nails, y'all. They look terrible. I had a gel manicure on, and so I'm gonna remove the gel. As you guys can see, it's time to take it off. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove gel from your nails. My nail drill, what it looks like, it comes with like four or five different tops that you can change it out with. And then it also has the UV nail dryer. Has a buffer, grinder, just all of the different types. So I think I'm just gonna go in and drill it off. Also really like these travel size nail polish removers. These really come in handy when you can't bring this whole bottle with you. I don't know what color I wanna do yet. I've been into red lately. You guys know I love black, black onyx. This is from OPI and then also Funny Bunny, which is a lighter shade. They have all of the different drill heads at the bottom right here, but I am gonna go in with the regular nail file first just to loosen up the gel before I go in with the drill. Here is the top part and a few more cotton swabs. Just wanna loosen this gel that we already have here. Once I started fouling, I decided that I just wanted to go back in and soak off the gel to make it a lot easier. I let the acetone sit in warm water for a little while, and then I poured that water out, poured the acetone in the bowl, and let my nails sit in there for about 15 minutes. When I bought the drill, I thought it just came with the different drill heads. I didn't know it also has the UV gel nail dryer as well. So I definitely have to go buy some gel polishes now. I only have just like regular polish, but I do want to go grab some now and see how well it works. After I was finished soaking all of the gel off my nails, I went back in and got the top. I think this is the sandpaper top for my drill. And I'm just going back in and drilling all of this uh, extra gel off.
to smooth my nails out, I went back in with just the regular nail file just to try to smooth out any uneven areas. There's also a buffer top, so I went back in and used that too. I got three different shades. I really wanted to switch it up and maybe go for this lighter one. Super cute, I've worn before. I really do wanna do this, but my toes are black right now, so. I'm always reaching for the black. I'm gonna go in first with my OPI base coat. I let my nails air dry and then I went back in with the finishing top coat to give it that shine. Here's everything that I'm about to use on my hair. Main choice shampoo and conditioner. And then you guys have seen this oil. And I use this oil every time I wash my hair and then throughout as well. You don't want to use a whole lot. And then this rice water. This is really good for split ends. Hair retention. Her Never Salty Scrub. I can't use this every single time, but it's like an exfoliator. And then this conditioner smells so good. That's what I love the most about this conditioner is the smell. The last couple of videos I did, I still have like all my stuff left out pen curls, the Fenty Beauty glosses, so I'm just gonna go ahead and organize this. I didn't know if this was something you guys would wanna see or not, but I wanted to show you throughout this video some of my favorite makeup that I'm using right now. Starting with, I showed you guys these Fenty Beauty glosses, my favorite Fenty Beauty glosses, so make sure you guys go check that video out if you haven't done so already. Oh, really quickly, I did wanna show you guys this. This Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Primer, it's a primer and a moisturizer. One of my favorite products right now though, you guys. Amazing, I mean it really takes your makeup to another level. I did like a test with it, I did my makeup without it and then I did my makeup with it and took pictures, like really close up pictures. When I tell you guys, it smooths out everything. Like it's such a great first step to your makeup. Max sent me the strobe cream. I think I used it in one video, but I do wanna use it in my next video that I'm gonna do for you guys, just so you can see how. This is also a good primer. So this and the Bobbi Brown primer, these both act as like my step one to makeup prep. MAC lip brushes, love these. So throughout the day I can just use my brush, go in and make sure everything's nice and smooth. And you guys see that they close up so you can put them in your purse. Yes, I have some MAC recyclables in here so I always Stuff, whatever I'm not using anymore from MAC in here. And you guys know if you return six MAC recyclables, you can get either a free lipstick, free lip glass, or a free eyeshadow if you go to a store.
up this whole drawer it's just like my lip drawer because i have so many lip products that's probably what i have the most so i definitely want to go grab like me another drawer um some tall drawers so i can have more i have the powder kiss max some MAC lipsticks. I have some more underneath. Selena collection, the Tiana Taylor collection. A lot of these Tianas I still have in my makeup bag and carry them around with me because they were so cute. These are mostly like my collection items that I don't wear them every day, but when I know I want something from here, I'll reach and grab this. We got all the Fenty Beauty in here, gloss bombs, KKW, MAC lip glass. This is some of the stuff that I use a lot. If you guys want to see a video of like my collector's items, let me know. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to definitely start bringing you guys weekly vlogs and just sharing with you more of my daily life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you guys would like to see in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me at Tay Franklin on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video.